everybody, it's Vicky, and I'm back today with another candy tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a peyote stitch candy cuff. I'll be showing you the even stitch today, and in the next video I'll be showing you the odd stitch. And this is an important um, stitch to get down if you want to make candy bikini tops and masks. Alright, so for your materials on this project, you're going to need some beads, some super stretchy string, and some scissors. So the first step to making this paint stitch cuff is going to be to cut off a fathom of string. So you'll take the end of your string in one hand and the spool in the other, stretch your arms out, and cut off that piece. And that is the piece we're going to be using to make our cuff. Alrighty, so once we have that long piece of super stretchy string that we're going to be using to make this peyote stitch cuff, our next step will be to just hold the two ends of the string right next to each other and place one bead onto each end of the string. So one on that one and one on that one. And then next you will put the two ends of the string together and then put both of them through the next bead that you'll place on. So you'll place on one bead with both of the strings going inside that one bead like that. And then you're going to place on two more beads, one onto each end of the string. and then put the two strings together and place on one bead and you can just keep repeating this step until you have as many rows thick as you want your bracelet to be. So I'm just going to do six for each color of the rainbow. So place one bead on each end of the string and then put the ends together, place one bead on. Once you have on all the rows that you want, you're just going to pick up the two ends high in the sky and let all your beads fall onto the middle of that piece of string you're holding in half and just kind of tighten them so that it should look like this. So next, you're going to pick whatever, whichever end of the string that you feel like working with and we're just going to work with one of them for now until we run out. That's the beauty of the even payout stitch, is that you just take one string, build on it this way, take the other string, build on it that way, and then meet each other at the end. It makes it easy. So you're gonna take one bead of the same color as the bead on the edge, place it on, because it's gonna go right on top of it, and then place your string through the next bead that's popping out. For me, that's my orange bead. And then you're gonna fill this space. So I'm gonna place a yellow bead there. And then put your string through the next bead that's popping out right there. So my bead's gonna go through this green. And then you're going to again fill the next space. So mine, a blue goes there, and then place your string through the bead that's popping out on the edge. Okay, and then once you're at that edge there, your string is coming out through the very next opposite end of where the other one is. So I'm gonna place on a purple bead just to go on this row and place my string through the next bead that's popping out. Same here, I'm gonna fill this space with a green bead and then place my string through the next bead that's popping out. I'm gonna fill that orange space with an orange bead and place my string through the end bead and you can really just keep going just like that, adding more rows until the bracelet is as long as you want it. You're probably going to need to add on some more string at some point, so I will show you how to do that. 
And you are going to want to kind of pull each row tight as you go along so the bracelet won't look like wonky. Okay, so that's about as long as I'm going to make this side of the bracelet. I'm going to leave a piece hanging off about this big just in case I want to add more string onto this side and make it longer later. But um, once you have basically run out of string on the first side, you're just going to flip the bracelet around and grab that other piece of string you haven't touched yet and start building off this side. And just to go over the steps again, you're going to place on one bead that's the same color as that stripe that you're currently on. Place your string through the next bead that's popping out and pull. And then fill each space. So I've got a yellow space to fill. And then I'll place it through the next bead that's popping out. And so on. And then we're going to go the other direction. So a bead that's the same color as the one your string is coming out of. Go that way. And just keep going on with this until either you run out of string or the bracelet's as big as you want it. I usually make these about 24 beads long until they fit around my wrist comfortably. Um, it might depend based on the size of your pony beads. You might also want to make it like pretty big in case you want to give it to someone who might have a big arm or if you want to wear it up on your forearm or something. Okay, and this is about as long as I can make the bracelet without adding string to it. So I'm going to show you guys how to add some more string onto your project. I'm probably going to add maybe like an arm's length on because I think the bracelet's almost done. Alright, and if you already know how to do this, you can skip this step, but uh, this is how I add string onto my projects. You're going to put the two ends right next to each other the piece that you're adding on and the piece that's already there. You're going to pretend that you are tying off a balloon. So make a little loop and then put the tails through the loop. Just have something that looks like a little pretzel. Pull on that tight. And then tie two square knots. And you're going to want to pull those tight too and cut those little tails off. And this is going to be a pretty bulky knot, so you'll want to hide it inside of the bead as you are weaving. Alrighty, so now I think the bracelet is big enough to fit on my arms. The next step we're going to do is bring the two ends together and sew them up. You're going to want to make sure... Um, when you put on your last row of beads that the two sides kind of will fit together like a puzzle piece. If they don't, you can take some beads off or add some beads so that it will fit together just like that. So you can take the longer of the two strings and place it through the bead on the opposite side that's sticking out. Like that. And then place it through this here bead that's poking out. And just keep doing that. Each bead that's poking out. Until you get to that very last bead right there. And then pull it tight. And then that's when the two ends will come together and you'll complete the bracelet. And you'll just want to pull that really tight and tie it in um, maybe two, three, four square knots. Whatever makes you feel safe. Like that.
And you want to cut off those two tails. And that is your completed even tailed stitch candy cuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial on payout stitch candy cuffs. You can show me the bracelets you made on Facebook or Instagram at Vicky's Candy Shop. There will be links in the description below, and you can comment if you need help or have any questions or suggestions for me. And until next time, peace, love, unity, and respect.